Okay, welcome back to Fast Ship Performance there. My name's Sim Davies. Today we're in the A5. A lot of people fly like this in DCS. It's a bit weird. What are you doing? What are you doing? We don't want to be here. We want to sort the jet out, sort the jet out a little bit, all right? So we need to get the seating position correct. You may as well get rid of stuff you don't need, don't use. This weapon's hard here. Rubbish, mate. Rubbish. Turn it off. We don't need it. We'll go over there towards the ground, towards the uh, island, shall we? And then we're radar here. Put it in some kind of mode that's not going to do anything for you. Put it in a standby mode. It goes away. Also, select left low on the fuel and just make the mirrors so you can see ourselves. Oi, oi, darling in the mirrors. Now, we don't sit this far back in a jet. We're going to talk about trimming today. So we're going to sort the position out. And the position should be around about, let's have a look, about there. So we've got a bit of the top of the canopy arch and a bit of the bottom of the radar. And that's, we have to look around the cockpit like this when we're flying. I have to look around the cockpit because we've got a mask on so we can't really see what's down here and we've got a helmet we can't really see what's up here unless you move our head you need to move your head around the cockpit i'm flying on track ir it does annoy me a lot but we'll work with it shall we and we're going to look today at trimming or trimage as the french might say i'll get to 10,000 feet then the french don't say that by the way and we get to 350 knots and that's what we're going to fly today and we're going to look at trimming out our jet why am I flying around Dubai, you might ask. Well, my kid brother lives in Dubai. Lad. And I thought I'd come and see him a little bit because he's probably bored. All right. I am flying directly into sun, which is not the best thing to do, but it's a computer game. So I don't mind. Right. Now, it's a visual IF mix. So 350 knots is probably going to be about 90%. 89, 90%. So we're going to set that power, hoping to hold 350 knots. And we're going to get to 10,000 feet. And I'm going to trim. And I'm going to bring up the little uh, thing on the left-hand side here to show you my trimming. Right, we can see the controls now. So if I set myself an attitude of about one degree there, get myself to 10,000 feet. Speed is too much. Let's go 87, air brake travels. Let's just set that nicely. Try 87%. 10,000 feet. Go down the coastline here a little bit. We're going to talk about turns and how we do turn a jet, but at the moment I'm flying like an instrument type thing. It's going to get away from the sun. Now, if I roll out now, 350 knots, should anticipate that. Air brakes coming in. Flight path's good. Dead wing's good. Uh, we're looking for 10,000 feet. So I want that VSI there, here, to be zero. And when I get to zero on the VSI, I can look at where that is on the AI. So on the AI, then that's probably about plus two degrees. If I want to, I can fast direct that AI if I need to. So I can, if it's a little bit toppled, it will sort itself out over time, but I've got good height, good speed, get that VSI to zero, and if I've got wings level, which I kind of have here, about there, I can hit the fast direct there, and it does fast direct things, okay? It will wander as the flight goes on, especially if you throw the jet around, which is why flying in battle in my school is so difficult for people flying the F5. Now, we're going to try and hold these 10,000 and 350. Look at where the ball is zero on the line with that there. Brilliant. And you can see through the head-up display then, if I just sit tall, it's just above the uh, the pillars there. So I've got a visual IF reference. We're going to turn to the right then. If you we were flying on instruments now, then of course um, we would be doing sort of 45 degree bank turns here. And we can do that bank turn initially as if we were on instruments. So good look out. I know we simulate to be on instruments all there, all over the top track. Oh, you suck. And then we're going to roll in. So when I roll in, a little bit of power comes on. I roll, okay, and I'm holding 45 degree angle bank turn there. And I will need a little bit of back stick. If I am speeding a little bit, guys, I'll just pull that nose i just pull those throttles back a little bit like this. 45 degree angular bank, and I have got a bit of back stick. And I haven't trimmed that into the back stick, okay? I'm not going to bother trimming it into the back stick because I can't bother. But look how we, we climbed a little bit there. Look how the jet doesn't really go around the sky. It doesn't really move, does it? This is instrument flying for you. It's pretty dull. It's pretty boring. Not interested in it, okay? So that's not really an effective way of us maneuvering that jet around the sky unless we're in an instrument pattern. As you roll out, then rolling out. Flight path is clear. Dead wing's clear. Make sure there's no aircraft there. So let's get back on parameters and then we'll show you how we maneuver a jet when we're flying in pairs or just visually as in as we're doing it right now. I'm going to cruise over there and have a look at what this is. OK, so I'm going to go over there. So I have a good look out. Yeah, look at over there. I'll put full power on, not reheat, roll and I'll just pull and I'm just going to pull myself around now. OK, just pull myself around. I'm going to go over there and it's probably about 4G. What have I got? Yeah, about three and a half, 4G. OK, flight pass good. Dead wings good. Come back on the power a bit. Try and get your parameters back, all right? That's pretty much what we're doing. So we maneuver the jet like that. We, we don't have to put it on the light buffet. The light buffet, okay, if we're doing air combat, then we would do. And that is pretty much full power. I don't need reheat for this. Roll it and then pull. And you'll find a buffet. There's the buffet level. And that's about 4.5 5G. That's the way we max perform the aircraft. But you will lose speed doing so. Make sure you've got combat flap in F5. And you can see the speed bleeding off. And those guys that designed that 339 
that they released for £50, they didn't do much of this testing at all because the 339 at full power at 10,000 feet, you do this actually gain speed, which is absolutely ridiculous. It would never do that. Flight path is good. Deadwing is good. We did offer to test it, but they said no. So just wait a while before you buy that 339, guys, because it's, um, it's not ready for release as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's use the height below then to get that speed back. We'll come down to 9,000 feet. And again, 350 knots. So anticipating that. Not enough, though. Let's have a look. Let's go over there, shall we? I don't know what I don't know much about Dubai. There's an airport down there. I don't know which airport that is. There's an airport. Now we fly 300 knots at the moment because we want to demonstrate descent and power attitude trim equals performance. So when I trim this aircraft now, it's slower. I'm going to go for about 80, 85 percent, something like that, probably to hold this speed. So I set the power I want for 300 knots. Attitude. I've got to set the attitude. The VSI needs to be zero, almost. And trim. I've trimmed every time you can hear that click. That's me trimming it, and the trim gauge lives under here. Really hard to see. Set six degrees nose up for takeoff. That will help you out if you're clean. Now, now if I want to set descent, then what we need to do is we need to set power, attitude, and trim. So I'm going to descend at 300 knots with the air brake out at 80%. So I lead with attitude, bring the power back then to 80%. Air brake travels, and I'm holding that about six, seven degrees nose down this aircraft. It should hold about 300 knots, but that right throttle is not good on my airplane. Now, if I'm a little bit faster in descent like this, like I am at the moment, I don't really want to move those throttles anymore because I might have a guy on the wing and he wants to stay in formation. So I can just adjust the attitude a little bit, a couple of degrees nose up like this, and that will come back to 300 knots. And when it does, I can reset my attitude, which is in this aircraft is around about, you know, between 5 and 10, and the Hawk it was 10. That gives us a nice 300 knot descent. Now we can then move in the, in the descent as well. We can turn. So again, we'll come left then, and we can use 30 degrees if we want to. But again, we're not really going around the sky. This would be as I was getting into an instrument pattern using nice, predictable turns. Not necessarily rate one. We don't normally fly rate one or rate two turns in fast jets. But of course, we can fly 450, uh, 45 degrees, and I would be doing that if it was about 350 knots. But 300 is nice. Now, another thing we can do for instrument pattern, we would be leveling below 250. So let's say we're leveling at uh, 3,000 feet. What I'll do, or let's say 2,000 feet. What I'll do as I approach 2,000 before, I will half the attitude. So whatever attitude I've got there, was it six degrees? I'm going to take about three degrees. And that's going to allow my speed to come back now. So I'll roll out here. My speed will come back now. And I'm trying to get back to about 250 knots as I level for 2,000. So we're really minimizing the amount of movement that we do in the throttles. I haven't touched the throttles since the start of that top of drop. Just to give you some idea here. We, we work in rates. Okay, rates. So we don't just fly constant speed anywhere. By halving an attitude there allows us that speed to come off and hopefully we're going to hit 2,000 feet and 250 knots at the same time. And if we don't, we'll just bring the attitude up a little bit, trim it a little bit more. And now I should be able to take my hands off the stick and throttle, which I've done, and the jet's just going to fly itself pretty much. That's the idea of trimming. When I reach that then, air brake comes in and 80%. We'll probably hold 250 knots, 260 knots being the gear limiting speed. I'm about 10 knots hot there. I'm 100 foot high as well. So... If you want to be a good pilot in DCS, learn to fly the F5 really accurately. Okay. And now I'm going to need about two or three degrees nose up now because I'm slower. And we can probably see it. Let me just get this trimmed out really well. If like that's trimmed out, probably not too bad. Let's hop outside. We're outside, lads, lads, lads. You can probably see the angle to the air, airflow there we've got. Uh, we've got about four degrees, it says there, AOA. So that's pretty good. And our AOA gauge down there. You see we're building alpha. So we need a bit more nose up, really, just to keep that uh, aircraft nice and level. And we can still manoeuvre here. We're quite happily. We just do, oh, I'd probably do no more than about 20 degrees angle bank turn here. And, of course, we will go around the sky reasonably quickly because we're slower. So she'll turn she'll turn in a smaller little uh, turn circle. Oh, look, yeah, that hotel down there. I own that fam. I own that hotel. I do not own that hotel. Crikey, look at that place. It's amazing. The whole place is really cool. And, of course, in real life, we're not going to be allowed to fly over cities, are we? No. We should fly down that road a bit later. We should definitely fly down that road. Right, same thing for climbs then. If I want to climb, I put the power on. And I'm going to set the attitude, then I'm going to trim. We're going to climb at 300 knots, so power's on. Allow the aircraft to accelerate. Well, oh, clear above. Feels good. Nicely balanced. Let us get to 300 knots. We'll do a 300 knot climb. I prefer a 350 knot climb, but it's going to take us all day to get there. Oh, let's do a 350 knot climb then. I have to trim nose down now as we accelerate a little bit to keep on the line. VSI is your power instrument. It's the best one to use. There's 350 knots. Clear above. All right, now set an attitude. Let's try 10 degrees. Set that attitude. Hold it. I want to hold 300 knots. I might need a bit more. Yeah, I do need about 12, maybe 15 degrees. Power. 
select the attitude and trim. And look where the attitude of the horizon cuts there. So although I've got the AI about 15 degrees, I can just briefly just check where my horizon is and then I can uh, make sure I'm in the right place. So again, if you do turns up here, it's absolutely fine. We'll turn over this way. We just have a good lookout. We can still turn 350 then we use 45 degrees and you will have to lower the nose a little bit in this climb to maintain 350. But again, you can trim that out. Nothing wrong with that. Trim it out. Nice in pitch, then in roll, then in yaw. So we trim pitch first, then roll, then yaw and use that uh, coolie hat thing on the joystick thing you have and that's absolutely fine. So these are kind of like instrument turns. I've got my hands up. I'll be showing my hands now. Hands, 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 not doing anything. But if we want to then go and fly visually and get rid of all this stuff and we're not really maneuvering, are we? We then just pull like this. We just maneuver the jet around and don't really go to that lift boundary, but we just, you know, we've got to get the jet places, haven't we? So we're just flying around here. Let's go have a look at this hotel then, shall we? So I'm really intrigued. And let's completely ignore any rules of the air. So let's go have a look. Yeah, I've got a residence down here on the left. Yeah, yeah, dear. Yeah, several, several, in fact, several. Man, there's some money out of this place, isn't there? It's a computer game, Tim. That is very factually correct. It is a computer game. So this nice hotel here, casting very long shadows in the morning. This is, really is a beautiful map, to be fair. So again, as the aircraft accelerates, I do have to trim forwards. 550 knots, Davies. You mentalist, mate. You absolute mentalist. Let's have a look at this. It's pretty, isn't it? I reckon we can get through there. Probably could actually, because we're very good pilots. You know what I'm thinking. Of course you know what I'm thinking. Let's get it done. This has turned into 8G. 8G has turned into a, an experience now, hasn't it? And then he flew through the tower. He didn't do that. He did. He did. He didn't. He did. He did. I think this is going to end pretty brutal, isn't it? This jet's not going to fit. Okay, come on, Davies. Sort it out, mate. So... You're going to want to be about 70, 80 degrees, 80 degrees, right, aim for that bit there, aim for that bit, you've got to tip the jet on the side, mate, do it now. Oh, oh, he only did it, Legion, Legion. Yeah, this is a trimming video that ended up with us flying through the building. There's a thing for you to try. Uh, let's go fly down the road, shall we? There we go. Beep beep. I'm a truck. Beep beep beep. Okay, we're going to go to Al Minad then, and I did bring some tornadoes into Minad once. And we did uh, some sort of low level into recovery bit, and it was a bit of a goat to be fair. And as we approached the airfield, the lead aircraft, which um, was someone now quite senior in the Royal Air Force, had a, an issue. And they just pulled up and went, I was number two. They said, Tim, yours, we've got an issue. And I was then, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we're looking for the uh, kind of high speed brake thing, really, we'll look at here. So 550 knots, I'll try and stay nice and close into the runway. I might slow down a little bit because we are hot on the target. Times are pretty hot. So I have to trim forward as the speed increases. We would break normally 1500 feet and I would break at 350 knots. But again, a little bit hotter today. We go for like 450, something like that. And FJP initials. FJP, uh, landing 27 right hand circuits. Roger 27 right hand circuits, FJP. 450 them. Fuel, yeah, we're heavy. 2400 pounds, we are heavy. It's a game in it, so it's fine. Right, so 1500 feet is what I want to hold there. 4G brake, roll pull, idle air brake, go from 450, and then I could go figure downwind. So I'm on the dead side of the runway. And then no less than 210 downwind. Downwind is clear. We teach circuits week seven in the school, if you're interested. Okay, go now. Roll, pull, idle, air brake. Staying level at 1500, staying level at 1500. I'm not trimming on this part, guys. I'm holding back stick pressure. Looking for 260, rolling out east. Looking for 260, looking for 260. 260, air brakes coming in, rolling out east, holding out below 260 then. Air brakes in, indicating in, gear travels, flaps travel, 
power for 210. Three grams indicating, full flap indicating for 210. Spacing is good, it's better now. Don't go too far outside, mate. Hold that 210, driving it downwind, hold 1500, and trimming that out now, trimming it out. I'm not getting on alpha, I'm getting on 210 knots. Halfway around then, I'm going to want to be 900 feet, about 185. I use about 190 because we're heavier today. Looking for that diagonal. There we go. One banana, two banana. Set your attitude, power comes off. Bit of rudder I use in this as well. About 45 degree angle of bank. That's nicely set. Three guns indicating, full flap indicating. FJP finals, get down. FJP, clear land, land FJP. Looking nice. Looking for 900, halfway around. Power needs to come back a bit more. Halfway around now, 900. Roll out three. That's looking nice. I hate track IR. Hate track IR. Rolling out at 300. And I tend to hold back stick pressure here, to be fair. Feels better to hold back stick pressure. Looking a little bit shallow there. Now I'll come back onto approach alpha. So 185. That's nice. Approaching alpha now. Hard to see that runway in this kind of light. Uh, keep the jet coming down. Numbers, speed. So build the alpha now. Just harden that light, to be fair, guys. Trimming it back now. Trimming it back onto the alpha. It's about 15 in this jet on the alpha gauge there. I don't want to see that green circle come over the tarmacadden. Three greens, full flap, toes clear with clearance. There's the green. Hold it off, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. Could hold it off longer than that, to be fair. Now it's down. Yeah, crocodiles on the center line. Why would you land on that? Bad crocodiles there. And it comes to a stop. Nice shadows on this uh, map at this time of day, isn't it? Anyway, guys, new course starting mid-January. I knew the press setting was wrong. Look, 200 foot on the altimeter. 200 foot, that's got to start with instant action. So really, I should have been doing that circuit at 1700 foot. Whatever, no one cares.